What's up guys and gals, so check it out. I've got another very special package from a very special person, my fiance in the Philippines, if you guys remember it from last time. Um, and she's actually with us today on the phone. Say hi, baby. Don't try this time, okay? <laughs> okay, I will, but you still have to say hi. Hi. Well, there you go. Uh, there she is, and here is the package. Um, it's pretty heavy, and once again, I have no idea what's in here. Uh, she did give me a clue last night, but even then, uh, it really, I had no idea. Uh, and before we get on with the package, uh, big thanks to Arlene's friends. Uh, Joy and her sister Eloisa. Um, Joy brought it over from the Philippines when she when she came here uh, for vacation over the holidays, and her sister shipped it to me. Uh, they're over in Anaheim, so so not not too far up. Uh, so big thanks, really 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 appreciate it. Um, so before I get this thing open, want to say anything, baby? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get this. Oh, by the way, some some nice handwriting there. <laughs> All right. Let's get this open. All right. First of all, I have some. Um, this one, <laughs> this is one of my favorite. Um, and there's something written on here, but it's it's kind of scratched out. Uh, this is one of my favorite snacks from the Philippines. Um, it's it's Moby crunchy chocolate flavored snack. Uh, how would you describe this? It's kind of like um, imagine cheese puffs, but but chocolate flavored. That might sound weird to you guys, because here in America, we really don't have anything like this. Um, in fact, one of my another one of my favorite snacks um, is. You know, we have like popcorn and stuff, um, but they have like chocolate flavored uh, popcorn. I just, you know, I love chocolate, love chocolate flavored stuff. Thanks, baby. So there's that. <laughs> and then I've got another another copy. Uh, so if, if you, you saw the previous um, unboxing and thank you videos, uh, very special package from my fiance in the Philippines. Um, she gave me the shirt, which uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry this time. Uh, the land of my birth, the home of my people. Uh, so if you saw that, you saw how much how touched I was by that. And I'm the type I like when I have something like this. It's like uh, I don't really want to wear it. Unless I have like a backup, I'm I'm kind of weird like that. And lots of my shirts, I will have a backup of. If you've seen my uh, Stormtrooper and Crossbone shirt, uh, I have a backup of that. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Thanks, baby. Wait, can I say something? Yes. Is it regarding this? Yeah. Okay. That was really hard to find. Again. Uh -huh. But, you know, I really went around so that you wear it, because I know you're not going to wear it. <laughs> so, yeah, you better wear it. I will. You'll see it, you'll see it in the picture, or you'll see it in the video. Um, in fact, if you want, I could change into it right now. Sure. Okay, I'm going change, to change into it. I'm actually wearing the other one. Uh that you gave me with that the first time, but I will change into that. So, hold on one second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna change into that shirt. Okay, and we're back. I've got the, I've got the shirt on, so, um, if you if you didn't see the previous video, and I don't know if you can see this on camera, it says, the land of my birth, the home of my people. Um, it's, it's from this company, My Philippines. So, there you go. Anything else you want to say about that, baby? No. Okay. Just don't cry. 
<laughs> All right, and moving forward, I can already kind of see the stuff in there in the box, but let's let's focus on the end timer. Here is another um, Pinoy centric shirt. Let's open this up so we can see. It looks really cool. Looks like it's got a um, really cool. What would you call this, baby? Like a modern design, trendy. <laughs> so there you check it out it says wait let's get this out of the way it says Pilipinas right there and it's got this really really cool design I haven't seen I've seen a lot of kind of um, modern designs like you saw this shirt I was wearing earlier uh, really you know uh, modern um, this is different it's like uh, it's got the sun and the stars, and it's also got, uh, representing the flag and the colors, is like a, a, a Philippine eagle in a, in a tribal design. So that's really, really, really cool. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Thank you, baby. Really cool. Uh, we'll try that on later. All right, and moving, moving forward. Um, okay, what is this? Okay, let's get this box out of the way. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, let me get this open. Okay, so I got that opened up. As you can see, there's a copy of FHM Philippines right here. Before I get to that, um, there's also some cards. There's one for me. There's one for um, my niece, Kayla, and my brother, and Rena. And one for my mom and dad. So let's open the one for me. Okay, there's the uh, there's the front right there. It's <laughs> it says honey. Uh, wish you knew how often I think of you and smile. Merry Christmas, I love you. Thank you, baby. Merry Christmas again. And then there is uh, a letter in there. I won't read that right now. Love you, baby. Um, and then, <laughs> all right, so, uh, to, to understand the joke here, I kind of have to get into a long story, which I'm not going to really get into. Uh, some of you probably will understand, but here we go with, um, let's see, it's the March 2010 FHM Philippines. It was the 10th anniversary issue, special collector's issue. And on the cover is Iwamoto. But it is autographed by... <laughs> Who is it autographed by, baby? Your best girl. Yes, it says, Merry Christmas from your best girl. Love, baby. So, <laughs> it is autographed by my fiancé, who is, you know, out of all these these sexy ladies there is no comparison she is my best girl in the whole world so so there you go um, <laughs> thank you baby and yeah so this was the uh, the 10th anniversary issue uh, very cool and what do we got here I know I don't have the macro set. I uh, hope you guys can see that. I'm not even gonna get it too close because then it'll get blurry. Let me pull these, this little guy and girl, out of the baggie here. Um, Want to help me explain this one, baby? a gift to us, kind of like an advanced wedding present. 
yeah, he made it himself, and it's super cool, and, you know, it was really nice of him to give that to us. Yeah, so big thank you, Jake. Um, uh, this was a this was a long time coming. I've been excited about these ever since. Uh, without getting too much detail, basically, um, and for those that don't know, uh, we have a group, uh, a Lego a Lego community in the Philippines called the Philippine Bricksters. I'll put a link right there somewhere on the screen that you can click click on. Um, and Jig had these printed up. And they're they're not stickers. They are actually printed on the the minifig torsos here, and it's actually front and back. I didn't know that the back was printed, so that's that's quite a surprise. Um, so you know, it's got a stylized Philippine flag on the torso right there. So do you know if he still has some of these available? Um. Yeah, I think he's selling them for like it's an order basis, but I haven't really asked him. Okay. Well, status, but I think they are available. It's just that he, we were the first ones that he gave. Okay. Copies of. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jig. Uh, <clears throat> these are really awesome. Check those out. Um, sorry, I'm burping. <laughs> uh, and each one comes with uh, a cap with and a hair piece that you can you can change it out with. Uh, so let's put the cat back on this, and then on the girl also, you can see she's got the, the female hair. Uh, you can put the cap on her if you wish. So there you go. Um, yeah, and so there you go. Let me show it a little closer. I hope it's not too blurry. I know I don't have the macro on. Uh, if anybody might be interested, I'll, I'll find out the info and I will post... Uh, uh, links in the in the description box. So there you go. Um, thank you, baby. I love my I love my uh, Christmas presents. A lot of them were left behind due to the weight, actually. Really? So there are still more. Well, Mr. Serbo was very insistent in getting in making me get you a certain masculine wash. Oh. <laughs> uh, fresh. I did buy it, but it was just too heavy and so I couldn't bring it anymore. And of course, there's more snacks that didn't make it, so we just ended up eating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of snacks, Smells chocolatey. So there you guys have it. Um, big thanks again to uh, Joy and Eloisa. Thank you guys so much. And of course, baby, thank you so much. I love all my presents, and I love you so much. And uh, this was a. Uh, this was a interesting video because it was the first time that I've had someone like uh, <laughs> I, I don't know you know on speaker like with me on the video, but not here. Um, uh, so that was that was different. And probably the first time I'm eating some snacks on camera too. So <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, want to want to say goodbye, baby? Bye. <laughs> so. Bye. What, baby? Bye, YouTube. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.